Hey, Grishard here at twitch.tv slash Grishard. Today we are going to focus on how to connect to my mod pack Grishtech 2. However, this method will work for any mod pack. The only thing I do want to note early is the RAM I'm going to specify is for my pack specifically. You do want to make sure that however much RAM you apply is relevant to that mod pack. Not enough RAM, the client won't load. Too much RAM and it'll crash and cause other problems. So make sure you check with the mod pack author on how much RAM they want. Alright, now let's get to it. The first thing you need to do is you need to go download CurseForge. There's going to be a link down in the description. It'll be the very first thing. Go there, download CurseForge. This tutorial will be for the Windows version. I don't have a Mac, so I can't walk you through how to do it on a Mac. Once you get it downloaded, installed, and logged in, you're going to see this screen. It won't have a whole lot going on. On the left-hand side, you're going to want to click at the very bottom that gear and it's going to bring up something that looks like this. Maybe in the future this page will change a little bit, but it'll probably still look pretty similar to this. At the bottom down there, you're going to see Minecraft. You're going to click on Minecraft. On the far right hand side, you're going to scroll all the way to the bottom and you're going to see something that looks like this. You want to drag it over to around 5,000. Uh, upwards, you know, six or seven thousand will be okay, but I, I wouldn't go. I wouldn't go much higher than that because you're going to run into garbage collection problems. The funny thing is, Minecraft actually doesn't like it when there's too much RAM because it waits too long for garbage collection and it causes lag. I know, crazy, right? Now you're going to go back to this screen, and at the very top in that search bar, you're going to type in Grish Tech Two, just like we have here. It should only bring up one pack. If it brings up more than one, look for the one with the logo as seen here and up in the top left-hand corner. Uh, maybe a year from now I'll have changed the logo. Probably not though. I've been using this one for almost a year now, so it's probably going to stay just like that. You want to go ahead and where I have the play button, it'll say, I believe, install. So go ahead and click on that. It'll take, depending on your internet speed, one or two minutes, somewhere in there. Once it's installed, you'll have this panel like you can see here. It'll have the version in the top right hand corner when you mouse over it and a play button. What we want to do is we want to click directly on the panel because I'm going to show you also how to update the pack anytime there's an update. So when you click on the panel, it's going to bring you to a page that looks something like this. It's got a whole bunch of stuff going on. You can see what installed mods are. You can see the overview where it'll have different you know links to things. On the top right hand corner, we want to focus on the three dots that are circled right there. So click on that and you're going to see a menu that looks something like this. It might change a little bit over time, but it should still have these basic options. Now there's a couple of things here I want you to note. There's the versions button, there's the open folder button, and there's the repair button. These three things, I, I might ask you to use the open folder or the repair button in the future. If for some reason, like you can't connect to the server or you can't load up the pack for some reason, come back here and hit that repair button and it will usually fix whatever's, just sometimes stuff gets corrupted. It's just Minecraft, it's just Minecraft being Minecraft. So come here, hit that repair button and that will allow you to repair it. In the event that I'm like, hey, send me your crash log. Let me see if there's something else going on that maybe I could help you with. You're going to go to open folder and then I will walk you through where to go from there to send me your log to help you out. There's a good chance you'll never have to do that. But just in case, I wanted to note those two items. But what we're more interested in right here is the versions. So go ahead and click on that versions button. And what that's going to do is it's going to open up a window that looks something like this. It might change a little bit in the future, but it's going to look something like this. Now you're going to see current next to whatever version you're on. For clarification, that is the current version you are playing on. That is not the current release version. So to make sure you're on the most current version, you're going to click that arrow on the right hand side, which you can see has already been clicked here. And you're going to try to scroll up. If you can't scroll up, you're on the most current version, you're good to go, no need to worry. If in Discord I have posted, hey, make sure you update before you play next time, there will be, like right now we're on point nine. When you're watching this video, who knows what the current version will be. It could be could be point nine if you're watching it tomorrow, could be could be 1.0, I might finally be happy with it and you know, this is 1.0 and we're gonna we're gonna stick pretty close to this. I I, I don't know. 
but make sure you're always on the most current version or you will not be able to connect to the server. You can play by yourself if you have a solo game and you don't want to update and you're totally happy with how it is, by all means, don't update. Because sometimes I remove mods, sometimes I add mods. Uh, this pack is central around the server. So if you want to play on the server, you have to be on the most recent version or you're not going to be able to connect. And then go ahead and when you click that, click continue and get back to the main screen. All you have to do now is mouse over that panel that appeared a little bit ago when we added it and click play. The game will load up. You'll be good to go, and when you get in, you don't need the IP, you don't need anything like that. Just click multiplayer, and the server will already be in the pack, and you're ready to connect. I'll see you online. Have fun. Thanks for watching. Bye.